Uh, hey, Max, what are you doing in the closet? Hey, Reese. What are you talking about, Doctor? I'm saying if you have a Dalmatian and you lose the spots, it's still a dog, but it's not a Dalmatian anymore. Are you following? <laughs> my dinosaur but when I look into your eyes I think I love you more be my Jurassic Valentine who's that weirdo falling deep into your eyes I love the way you archaeologize angels stay with me forever and love me like you love your dinosaur. Thanks, but I'm a little busy right now. I'm really glad to see that you're feeling better. I didn't know any other way to express the love I feel for you deep down inside. Oh, how nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's with you? <laughs> oh, not you again! Hey! Oh, quick! Turn that thing off! What's the matter? Oh, my poor heart's hit the skids. Tell me you're not really with those kids. Oh, no, 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 no. It can't be so. Why can't we just let our true love grow? Now, the finale. This. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. If you won't take a bath, you're getting a shower. Oh, oh boy, not again. Uh, Why do I have to have the only dinosaur who's afraid of water? Look, Ace, it's a crab! <laughs> She's supposed to be showing Ace how much fun it can be playing near the water. There's nowhere for me to land this hydroplane. That's all right. I'm ready for anything! Wait, do you know how to work this? No clue. How difficult can it be? <laughs> Less difficult if you had it on right side up. This is disgusting. I can't believe the huge mess the boys made of this house. Where are they anyway? Max? Rex? What? Hey, haven't you ever heard of knocking, Zoe? Oh, no, you don't. Don't change the subject. We're supposed to keep this house clean while your mom is away and just look at it. What do you think I'm going to do it all? Well, isn't housework for girls anyway? Hey, what's going on in here? And you! What kind of slut did you leave behind? <gasps> so, do I pass? Yes, now you can get started on the rest of the house. Ah! Uh. Wait, how much are you paying? Ah. Your payment is that I won't hurt you. Well, here's the economy class pilot now, ma'am. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, excuse me, Mr. Pilot, sir? Mm. Tell me, this plane seems just a bit out of date. Are you certain it's up to code? I don't know. Good question. Ah! I figure I've lived me a full life. If it's time to head for that big airport in the sky, I guess them's the brakes. Maybe you're done living, Grandpa, but I'm not, so your last flight better be a solo one. I got you now, varmint. Yeah! I'd say it needs work, but if any of the furniture or the shrubs try to escape, I can catch them! This time I gotcha! Yeah! Yeah! Zoe, I'm sorry. At least it's better than a shrub. I want to see some sweat, boys! We're gonna have this place spotless by the time Mrs. Taylor comes home, right? Right. <laughs> Chomp and Ace, ten more minutes in detention, then you can go. I'm going to go clean the kitchen now, but don't try to goof off because I will know! Wow, she's even worse than mom. I don't know, Max. Your mom can be pretty fierce at times. Really? Are all girls like that? But Zoe's still just a kid, so why would she want to start acting like a mom? Probably because she just likes being bossy. I'll tell you why, boys. There's something all women have. It's called maternal instincts. I think Zoe just has annoying instincts. Hey! What's the matter? Huh? <laughs> What in the world is going on here? Dear Zoe.
shall we? We have an important research thing to work on, so we'll clean up later. No way! Oh, I can't believe we came all this way to see a dinosaur fossil, and all we got... ...was an old fang from some dumb pig. Actually, they say wild boars are very intelligent animals. Smart enough to know they're not dinosaurs. Wow, you look great, Zoe. What did you expect? To be a ninja, one must look like one. You're beautiful. <laughs> huh? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Tell me you didn't really get a 45 on your math test. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why you were the first one done. You didn't put any thought into it. Yeah, I did. I thought I knew the answers. Listen to me, young man. When you get home... Helga thinks it's our fault you won't eat, so she's refusing to feed us until you eat every bite. But if you need help with that porridge, just let me know. Open up the hangar. Here comes the airplane. Uh... <laughs> um, that's hot! You little spoiled brat! Well, you burned my mouth! Now get out of here and don't come back without that dinosaur car! Oh, but someone with a bad bag, he's got a mean fastball! Our research until we get rid of the dinosaur. What is this whispering? <laughs> Well, we came here because our history assignment was to study the Angkor Wat Temple, but there's a problem. What problem? It looks like there's a big dinosaur running around down there. Which would be a little disruptive to our studying, right, Laura? You're right. Maybe we should just go and take care of that dinosaur instead. Nice try, but you two will not get out of your home with that easy. I'll take care of the dinosaur. What? She was serious. Can you believe Helga would just jump out of the plane like that? Do you think she could have survived the fall? Yes, I'm sure she's fine, the way she's built. In fact, I'd be more worried about whoever she landed on. <laughs> You're right. I bet wherever she hit, she left a crater in the ground the size of a bus. <laughs> you dropped something. What is it? it? Looks like a math test. Yeah, but with that score, I'd say somebody doesn't know their algebra very well. Wait. Hey! Give me that! You have the brain of a dinosaur. That's for sure. Well, that's probably because I spend so much time around dinosaurs. We meant because their brains are so small. Wait a sec. If a dinosaur runs 2.2 kilometers through the woods in 10 minutes but stops for lunch for three, how fast could he walk? Well, a kilometer's like not as far as a mile, but if it takes him 10 minutes stopping for lunch... I know how long! Hey, where are you going? Rex, where'd the cook lady go? She's dropping by! Oh. <coughs> you okay? Did she hit you? No, that was a close one. What's this thing? Oh. It's her head! Wow, all this time she's been a robot. That would explain your personality. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Am I losing my mind or did you just lose your head? It might be dangerous. And exploring dangerous stuff like this is exactly what D-Team is all about, right? D for danger. Yeah, well, dumb also starts with a D. Looks like you've got yourself a baby triceratops, Max. 